Hello everybody and welcome to Elemental Survivors, a game I've already played and covered on the channel, but I am back to play it again because of the uh, Bullet Heaven Fest and because they have added the Journey Mode. And Journey Mode unlocks after you complete the very first stage, and um, it's pretty cool. Like, I'm just going to jump in, we'll jump in and try it and see how it goes. Uh, but essentially you're in this kind of constantly, rather quickly, ex escalation of difficulty, uh, what's happening is you are uh, basically given one minute to, you know, kill as many enemies and, you know, level up your gear as much as possible, you know, before moving on to the next level. I would really like the Holy Ring, um, but it so far seems like that's just going to be something that's not going to happen for me. I mean, the Holy Ring's not really, like, amazing. It's not, like, one of the absolute best weapons, but I find that it has helped me out more than really anything else. Uh, but it just may not be in the pool of things that it's going to pull this time. There it is. So with this mode, uh, you will have the opportunity still to go to the shops and the towns. Um, I found that it probably works best if you go towards the town if you see one. Uh, the shop is nice, but you're honestly going to probably do a little bit better um, if you have the additional characters that are going to, you know, help you. Uh, because the second you start hitting a point to where you're not doing enough damage to enemies, it's just it's just going to become increasingly difficult to the point where it's it's just going to be really rough to continue. I made it to like level 18 or 19, and then I got just completely hosed. Uh, due to the amount of enemies and just the fact that I wasn't really doing much in the way of damage. You don't have to really worry about missing out on the town or the, uh, the shop because if, you know, they're still going to be there if you don't get them. So they'll carry over to the next experience of the level. True to its nature, it's one minute per stage. Well, not really per stage, but I mean, you, know, you got one minute and then it's just, you're launched into the next location. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I think this is definitely more designed for the more experienced players. Uh, is I do think it's enjoyable. I like it. I know there's the leaderboards. I just don't know how to access the leaderboards um, from, from within the game to, um, you know, to actually look and see, like, how I'm doing in comparison to other people. Which somewhat defeats the purpose of a leaderboard, I guess, but... I'm sure I'll figure it out. I'm also not, like, incredibly competitive, so it doesn't really matter to me about the leaderboard, but I know a lot of people really like that sort of thing. So I'm glad that they've added it. Journey mode is definitely difficult in comparison to everything else. It's, I would also say it's more difficult than playing on the expert mode because just given the massive quantity of enemies that kind of come through and like, here we are, what are we at, level eight? I'm already at a point where yeah, I'm, I'm probably not going to make it much further. I can't, I can't kill very many enemies. Uh, quick enough to, you know, develop enough uh, 
experience, so... That's very unfortunate. I'm very sad for myself. I have to make this video and be like, look at me, I'm, I'm really good at this game, and I, mean, I can't even do it. Uh, quick disclaimer, because I can't put that in there. I did receive a copy of this game for free through uh, like the Keymailer program. Um, so thanks to Keymailer and then Sam will be for saying yes to allowing me to play this. Very appreciative of them because I, I've been really enjoying this game. It's, it's quite a lot of fun. It's something you can kind of pick up and play uh, relatively quickly. You know, each run takes about 20 minutes you know, a little bit more when you throw in the boss fight, but uh, I do like the time timing based nature of it. It's just it's just easier to kind of section it into your day and make sure that you're uh, playing it in a time that kind of works best for you. Like I said, I really like this journey mode edition. I think it's cool. Um, I will say that, like, I don't think the journey mode is going to be something that I would spend a lot of time in because, for me, it seems like it would be much easier to just focus on some of the previous levels I've done. I'm not seeing, like, an increase in coin drops. It's actually more difficult to get coin drops because it's harder to kill things because, you know, you it's very easy to hit a stage to where... You aren't doing enough damage to kill anything. Uh, and that's kind of where I'm at now, which is why I've only really been making it to like level 18. I could spend this entire minute trying to kill this boss and it's not going to happen, like he's not going to die. So, um, really it's just going to be a matter of trying to stay alive for a minute, but it's probably not going to happen. And I think this is as far as I'm gonna get because I, I you know, I'm, like I said, I'm not killing anything. Nothing's getting hurt. And this is why I think that outside of trying to get to the leader, you know, get on the leaderboard, which it still looks like it probably ends at 20. Um, outside of trying to get on the leaderboard to just you know, to brag that you got there, um, I don't know that there's a lot of reason to play Journey Mode. I mean, it's a, it's a cool addition, but yeah, again, there's just there's there's not really. Um, whole lot to it in a way that you know works towards character progression or anything like that so I, I, I just don't know that there's any real lasting value for uh, this mode but I guess we'll see because I think I'm actually gonna make it to 20 or maybe this will be I think it's a 19 oh well I don't know now it's like 16 I who knows how the math works in this journey mode. But at the point I'm in, I mean, I'm just going to run around and try to stay alive, I guess, get to the shop. I can buy something, perhaps. Definitely seems like a character that has a lot of speed is going to be, like, the ideal character for this. This mode, but... Or perhaps something with a large, you know, just weapons that do a lot of pushback, and that probably is gonna gonna help as well. I don't think we're gonna make it to the shop. Oh, nope, and we didn't. So there you go. That's a quick look at what um, journey mode looks like. Journey mode's pretty cool. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, I like if you haven't been playing this, I, I don't think it's going to be something that's going to kind of pull you in. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's still pretty cool that we unlock gold mag magnets. Uh, I, I have no idea where the leaderboard is, so I'm just going to go into the thing. Like, um, I found the leaderboards. The leaderboards look like they're just on on Steam themselves. I'm um, currently number nine with seven minutes and 49 seconds. Um, number one is at 20 minutes and 47 seconds. How that's possible, I don't know. But anyway, but there you go. That is a look at Jury Mode. Um, you know, Elemental Survivors is participating in the Bullet Heaven Fest. And there is a demo if you want to try it. The link's in the description, and thanks for watching.